Hello, this is Bo from WorkingHandsFree.com, and today we are going to review the iKegel Double Foot Switch Control Pedal. Should you buy this foot pedal? Well, if you're going to be using it for any kind of general use, such as keyboard shortcuts, or combinations of keyboard shortcuts, as well as typing in a string of letters and numbers all at once with just the press of one foot, then I would highly suggest getting this foot pedal. However, if you plan to use it for gaming, I would suggest looking into other options because this foot pedal is a little bit loud and in general, it's a little bit better for general use. Now, before we get more into this video, I'd like to mention that this is not a sponsored ad. Any recommendations that we make are opinions based on personal experience with using this product. Personally, I have suffered from an arm injury, and so I've been using this foot pedal on a daily basis for over six months and have personally preferred it over various other foot mouse options so far. What are the pros and cons of the iKegel foot pedal? Well, the main pro is that it's highly customizable. A lot of other foot pedals do not allow a lot of customization for the keys. However, the iKegel foot pedal allows a lot of different customization options. For example, you can press just about any keyboard shortcut or any combination of keyboard shortcuts, such as Control Shift Enter all at once with just the press of one pedal. And there is also an option to enter any kind of string such as ABC123 with just the press of one pedal. There are also options to customize based on continuous or single trigger as well as multi-key combinations. Another pro is that you can rest your foot on the pedal in between clicks. For example, here you can see that I'm alternating between clicking on the pedal with my foot and resting my foot on the pedal. I really like this feature because it allows me to rest my feet and not have to move them around as much in between using the pedal. There are some cons to this foot pedal. For example, it is rather heavy and large. You can fit it into a backpack easily, but it takes up a lot of space and it's rather heavy, so it's not particularly portable. And there's only two pedals. I wish that there were versions with six pedals, for example, when using this foot pedal as a foot mouse. That said, because the foot pedal is rather heavy and large, this does make it a very sturdy construction. So the foot pedal doesn't actually move around much when I do use it with my feet, which is a huge plus. And overall, the construction feels very sturdy and high quality, especially given the price of this product. Another plus is that this foot pedal works great with both Windows and Mac. The only downside is that when you set this pedal up for the first time, for example, setting the keyboard shortcuts, you do have to have access to a Windows PC just for the setup. However, this really isn't too much of a big issue because you can just ask a friend or family member that has a Windows laptop to download the software. It just takes a couple minutes or you can set up Windows on your Mac computer using Bootcamp. It's really easy to set up. Again, it's really not much of an issue. Once you get it set up, it will work fine on the Mac computer as well as the Windows computer. The last pro that I would like to go over is that this foot pedal is fantastic for voice control shortcuts and you can use it as a foot mouse, which I will demonstrate later. Now I will go over several demonstrations of how you can use the foot pedal for various shortcuts. For example, did you know that you could use the foot pedal to log into your computer hands-free? First, I press on the right hand pedal, which I've set to be the enter key on the keyboard. Then I press on the left hand pedal, which I've set as a string of text, in this case, my password. Then I press on the right hand pedal again, which presses the enter key. This sequence of foot pedal shortcuts allows me to log into my computer without any use of my hands. Another interesting use of the foot pedal is to use the pedals to scroll up and down on a web page, for example, using the up and down arrows as the keyboard shortcuts for each pedal. Another cool thing you can do with the foot pedal is to use it as a foot mouse. For example, you can move the mouse cursor up, right, down, left, as well as diagonally. More detailed instructions are located on our website, workinghandsfree.com, including tutorial videos on how to set this up. 
It works for both Mac and Windows. I've tried other foot mouse options such as the Boomer foot mouse, but found that the movement of the mouse cursor with the Boomer was too slow, and with constant use my feet started to hurt, mostly since scrolling was difficult and the height and angle for my feet wasn't adjustable. On Mac, the built-in face mouse called Head Pointer was faster than the Boomer foot mouse. However, with constant use my neck started to hurt. I do believe that mice controlled by the feet or maybe the eyes could be designed to be painless and I'm hoping to try more options as they come out on the market. For now though, if you have an arm injury the best I can recommend is to use a combination of voice control software and the iKegel foot pedals since voice control is fastest for navigation and iKegel foot pedals help you to mouse in situations where voice navigation doesn't work. Here is a summary list of all the many different things you can do with the foot pedals with voice control. We've also included another list here, as well as initial instructions if you want to learn how to set up the foot mouse option. However, as always, you can visit our YouTube channel as well as our website, workinghandsfree.com, for more detailed tutorials. Thanks for watching this review, and I hope you check out our YouTube channel and website for more.